Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Okwe Adibayo, and this is my YouTube channel. And this channel is all about faith, lifestyle, and inspiration. So if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. And what do I have for you today? Our topic for today is five ways on how we can be creative daily. That is our topic for today. And as usual, let's dive right into the topic of today. What is creativity? Creativity is the ability to come up with new ideas, ability to think outside the box to solve a problem and achieve a desired result. Creative people are called problem solvers. Why? Because they are consistently looking for new ways to do things. Creativity has brought about so many inventions that have changed the world that we live in today. Schools, organizations, firms today are all doing the same thing. And what is it? They are encouraging more and more creativity in thoughts and actions among students, among employees, among entrepreneurs, business owners. Everyone is adopting this pattern. Being creative starts from our thoughts. Just as we are being inspired by someone or something daily, we hear voices of creativity every time, every day, everywhere. Voices like, what if I do it this way? What if we follow this strategy? Without realizing it, we tend to ignore them, failing to see them for what they have. When it comes to being creative, it is very important for you to give yourself the permission to think and see things for what they have and also to be confident that whatsoever action you take will be a good one. Creativity opens our minds to limitless opportunities. It broadens our perspectives on things and it also helps us to understand so many things and the reason behind why some things occur. Creativity helps us to break out of the usual way and pattern of doing things so as to embrace the new. When you are creative, your mind is in the right frame and that gives you the opportunity to come up with new ideas and solutions to things. Now, what are the five ways in which we all can be creative daily? And number one, through prayer. Prayer ignites creativity. When you pray every day for a creative mind, the Holy Spirit will fill you up with new ideas, new insights, and you will have more clarity on what to do, where to go, and how to also respond to different situations with ease, confidence, and joy. And through prayers, you'll begin to glow in the Spirit, and your eyes of understanding will be opened, and your knowledge sharpened, and you become more skillful in your work. The more you pray and delight yourself in Him, it begins to reveal more and more creative ability and also multiply your talents. God has entrusted us with incredible gifts and talents. And the only way we can develop those gifts and talents is to recognize that all these gifts and talents came from Him. And that is why the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, For we are God's workmanship created in Jesus Christ to do the good works which God prepared in advance as our way of life. And through that passage, we can see that we've been crafted in the image of God with a skill and a purpose by God alone for his purposes. Step two, be fully committed to creativity itself. Your own effort counts a lot. Set some time aside every day to sharpen your skills. Set goals. Do not neglect your own efforts. Keep believing. Keep trusting. Keep walking. Keep going. Keep showing up for yourself every blessed day. You just have to show up for yourself. You just have to show up for yourself regularly. If you do not make time for yourself, you won't be able to sharpen your creative skills. And those creative skills needs to be sharpened and those skills cannot be sharpened if you are not fully committed to creativity itself step number three confront your fears the fear of the unknown fight it the fear or the thoughts that you might feel the fear or the thoughts that you might not succeed the fear or the thoughts that you might make a mistake fight it 
Confront your fear. Confront every fear of failure. Fear hinders every progress. Do not give room or abhor such feelings. Every step that you take every day matters. And as long as you do not stop or give up on yourself, you will definitely reach your goals. Number four, challenge yourself every day. Challenging yourself helps you to break out of the old pattern, of the old ways of doing things, of the old knowledge and embrace the new. The more you challenge yourself, the more you understand that there is more inside of you and there is more beyond what you know or what you see. When you challenge yourself, you are becoming more and more inspired and you are also developing your creative strength and abilities every day. Challenging yourself will help you to build your confidence, this strong confidence in yourself and in what you do. And this will also help you to follow your what ifs. Every what ifs. What if I do this? What if I go this way? Every what if. Because that's the first step in making your own dream come true. And number five, give yourself 20 minutes a day. Yes, 20 minutes a day. Take out some time for yourself every day to just sit down and think about maybe up to 10, 15 new and interesting ideas and write every single ideas down. It could be a small or big idea. It doesn't really matter. Just write something down and find the time every morning to do this. This habit will help in sharpening your creative abilities and also unlocking different doors of opportunities, ideas, strategies that you have not seen or come across before. And most times they are always right in front of you. Giving yourself this time takes you away from distractions and also allows you to sort out every of your own priorities while staying on top of everything on top of it all and finally for today a creative life is very important living one and having one can be challenging but it is doable it is doable it is a habit that you have to cultivate it is doable because creativity itself is a way of living a life that embraces originality. And the beauty of it all is to live a life that embraces originality. And finally, we have come to the end of today's topic. And if you find this helpful in any way, please leave a comment below and click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I will see you again in my next one. Thank you all for watching.